<laughs> well, welcome home. I get a little bit of a hero's welcome coming in, especially after what could be called a historic week for Bora Hansgrove and the World Tour at the Tour of Turkey. Yeah, it was a good week for us and I'm happy that I could win the race and I'm a bit surprised I didn't expect it that because uh, yeah, like my girlfriend said she has to learn and blah 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 and yeah, it's nice that everybody's here from my family and it's nice. You know, it was a huge week. It started with back-to-back -back stage wins with Sam Bennett, your teammate, and of course, culminating with a huge queen stage victory for you in the snow <laughs> on the summit, which again, gives Bora Hansgrove its first ever World Tour victory. Yeah, it was a really hot day, especially from the start on rain and pretty cold. I didn't expect it that from Turkey. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I really like the cold weather and snow and fog. It's a little bit mythic climb and uh, yeah, I felt really good. And uh, I'm happy that I could win the stage. In the end, it was <laughs> really, really cold. So I could not even shift. Uh, it was too cold in the fingers, but uh, yeah. I'm just happy that I could win. Walk us through the, the closing kilometers there. Obviously, they had shortened the stage due to bad weather, I think by about 4K. And about four kilometers remaining to the summit, Remco Evenpol from Quick Step, he attacked. Uh, you followed suit. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, really strong and uh, yeah, he attacked hard. And he also did the split, so we were then four riders left. And two to go, I attacked with Kudus. And I really uh, struggled a little bit, one to go, uh, two, yeah, one and a half to go, but I came back one to go and uh, I'm happy that I could drop him in the last 200 meters. You know, this past week on the Brad Wiggins show for Eurosport, uh, they talked about the differences between pain and suffering, if there was any. Uh, are there any differences between the two for you and which were you feeling, if so, on that mountain? <laughs> I think it's uh, much easier to suffer when you know you go for a good uh, result or even the win. But yeah, it's important uh, to get the chance from the team that you don't forget how to, to suffer for a good result. And uh, yeah, I'm happy that I get the chance. You know, uh, that victory, it kind of creates a little bit of momentum and, and results get more results. Um, what does this do for you? Does it fuel? your hunger to get more results and more victories moving forward? Yes, sure, of course. Uh, <laughs> no, it was, uh, I was now waiting uh, four years for my first province, so I'm uh, happy and I hope I can get more the next, next you know, years. You came into the race about two kilos lighter than you were last season. You've, you've had a, a bit of a change of pace in your training, your off-season training. Uh, yeah, we changed a little bit the training and also, I mean, I always had like a, a a good not diet but a good food uh, but this year I tried to really uh, be more professional in these things and yeah that's the reason why I have two kilo or one and a half kilos less than the last years and that you you feel that on the climbs yeah. hey, so you do that by a little bit of snow skiing here in Austria <laughs> yeah uh, my winter program was on ski tours uh, I was uh, home for two weeks and I was only two times one hour on the bike, the rest only on skis. And I think it's, uh, for me, it's one of the best training in winter. You know, I'm off on a train now for the Tour of the Alps. You're going home for a few days. You've got Romandy, and then I think I see you again in North America in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm really looking forward for California. It's my first time there, and everybody is uh, just saying that it's great there. So, yeah, I can't wait. You know, uh, we mentioned the Bradley Wiggins show earlier. You, you did tell me on the plane, we spoke earlier, that uh, he was a bit of a childhood hero of sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is, uh, anything you'd like to, to, to say to Brad or, or, uh, or the game? <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, he has really special personality. He's a bit kind of a rock star and uh, this was really cool and uh, his sight burns. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. And Any questions for him? Uh, yeah, why he cut the sideburns. <laughs> Perfect. Well, maybe Sir Bradley will give us an answer on his next yeah. podcast. Look, again, congratulations and, Thank you. and what an amazing effort. Thank you. Thank you.